from this to this. You are all successful. Equally, each and every one of you here right now carries the same accountable success in your business. Unless you choose otherwise. So here's something to think about. You're in charge of your business. Let me say that again. You are in charge of your business, not your business in charge of you. Remember, you build your business around you, not build you around your business. So many people feel, so many people think they're in charge. So many people think that they got control of their life through their business, when actually in reality, they're so far from it. How do you know, how do you test yourself? How do you, how do you measure whether you're in charge or not? How do you measure these things? One thing I like to do is test myself and emotionally test myself. In my last video, we talked about disruption, positive disruption. Well, today I've come in, I'm ready to go. I've got a full day ahead of me. But I've decided to move everybody. This weekend is a long weekend, it's a long holiday weekend here in, uh, in the UK. Well, that means uh, everybody that's employed, that has a salary, will be on vacation, will be on holiday. How many business people, how many business owners are going to take advantage of this long weekend, this long national holiday weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday? I'm guaranteeing that probably 90% of those SME business owners, of you SME business owners, are going to only utilize at the most 50% of this holiday weekend opportunity here in the UK. And the same goes for national holidays globally. So many SME owners fail to take advantage of guilt-free holiday period. So what am I doing today? Today I've come in and thought, you know what, Paul? You've got to practice what you preach, but also you're in charge of your business, so I've moved everybody. I've moved my clients. Is that harm in my business? No, my client I've told my clients the truth. I'm taking a vacation. I'm using the or I'm using the full opportunity to, ha um, to have a vacation. It's a national holiday, so um, I've rescheduled everybody and everybody's cool with that. You know? Is it irresponsible? Some, some, in, some in business would say, can you actually take the time off if you're not capacity? Because I'm not capacity. Probably going to say right now, you know, I'm far from capacity. I'm in a transition. I'm enjoying the, the change from one business style to another, um, from one marketplace to another marketplace. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in a transition, so I'm nowhere near capacity. But I'm in charge of my business. And I trust my business. I trust my decision making. I have a good support system around me also. So yeah, so cancelled, moved everybody. Well, not cancelled, I've rescheduled everybody, my clients today. And it's early in the morning. It's 7.30. I'm about to pack up my camper van, pack up my mountain bikes. And tell what, let's go on a trip. Let's do some philosophy. Let's, um, let's, let's cover some of the most important and most powerful basics in yourself and running a business over the next couple of days. We're going. We're committed. But you know, I think one of the most confusing emotional balances with anybody that's running a business is uncommitted self-decision-making uncommitted self decision making what that means is that if you've decided 
If you decided to put yourself first in a way of, okay, today I'm taking a rest, today I'm going on vacation, today I'm, I'm making a random decision, a powerful decision to say, I'm going to make a profit in my business by giving myself time to take myself time out of the business and rest as a human being rather than a human doing. Now, when you decide, when you make that commitment, you've made that decision, you don't have to live that to the full. It's like anything else. If you decide to invest something into your business and you only half use that investment, only half put yourself into that investment, then you get half the return. So it's exactly the same inside out almost. Today, I've decided to take myself out of the business, but also more into myself. So it means I have to be committed and loyal to the decision I've just made and not carry guilt through the next couple of days whilst I'm driving in my, in my, in my van and relaxing. Because actually what I'm doing is I'm making money. I'm making money because I'm making myself. I'm making who I am. I'm making what I am. I'm reaffirming that. By allowing myself to, be, to breathe, to be in the moment, to be in my life. So I'm making profits in my life. By making profits in your life, you make profits in your business. But you have to be committed to that self-decision of giving yourself time in your life. Giving, you time, giving yourself space in your life. So it's important to know that when you invest, put 100% of your commitment into that self-investment with no guilt. Let's go for it. All this shelf space, all this storage space, and I have a bag the size of, of the van full of cycle gear, actually, that I have to put on you. It's like, there I go again, you know, just in case. But hey, let's go. There are loads of ways to start your committed investment, your committed time off. The best way is to start with something that helps, that releases you from the need to jump into emails, for the need to um, be sure that you have got back to everybody, for, for the need to make sure that you've you know, got your next call to action done. I've met so many business owners and work with so many business owners that get frantic at making sure that they have completed all the call to actions before they walk out that office, out that business with a clear conscience. Here's the thing, it never ends. You don't actually complete. You may come up to date, but that up to date is only up to date at that given second of your list to do. Once you've completed that call to action list at that given moment, let's remember, it's then up to date because in the next second you'll have another call to action, something else to add to your list. So it's never ending. So people often say, yeah, clear emails. I'm like, what you actually do is shut down your laptop and say, right, I'm now making money from my life investment, from investing me into my life. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first do something right now, my first action on my time off, is to do an event that clears me out, clears my mind, that re-energizes me. So for me, I'm here, I'm in a mountain bike resort in the middle of Wales as my first stop. So for me, it's about that. So yeah, so I'm going to get on my bike for a couple of hours. That will, that will re-energize me and de-digitalize me. Remember that, de-digitalize yourself. Remember I just said that. So that's, that's my first stop. So I'm going to get out, get a couple of hours in, and then we're going to venture to my overnight for a couple of days. Happy days. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to sharing some amazing philosophies. <laughs> that's me done. And that's my setting in place. Ready for what is now my 
next two or three days of human being over human doing investment into my business. Um, which allows me to keep a measure of my authentic activity as a person. So next, so hopefully you should have yours down now. So you should be either thinking about what your tool is gonna be to get you set for your I own my business um, invested period of time. Whether it's reading a book, going for a walk, doing something active, um, but making sure that you get that in before you start. So like I've just finished that bike ride now and it, there's not a part of me that's thinking about, you know, my to-do list. Cause I've, I've kind of vented that out. So now what you're looking at is, okay, I've got my tool, I've done it. So let's go to the next stage now, which is concentrating on your digital free investment in yourself. And trust me, that's as hard as for some people giving up class A drug, caffeine, cigarettes. You know, it's a hidden it's a hidden addiction. That's our next stage. So let's get to uh, let's get to the venue. Go into a place called Lone Wolf. Um, somewhere here in the thick of Wales. Um, so yeah, I'll get there and um, we'll go into phase two. Happy days. Okay, let's get the coordinates in to our new destination. See, there's some digital, te digital technology that's, um, that's vital, you know. Satellite navigational systems, oh really, does it take away the opportunity to actually organically work from a map? You know, like we used to. Is it safer? I'm going to say yes. Does it take away the interaction? You know, when you go on a journey and that excitement of reading through the map, well, of course, you know, you don't get, you don't see many of these guys in people's cars anymore, you know. The big Atlas Europe. <laughs> I mean, that's rare. You see the guys, because we've become, you know, Reliant, it's safer, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, is it lazier? I don't know. But anyway, we're on our way. Go up and going in our south now. Let's get ourselves out here, for sure. And uh, on to our next measure of owning your own business. quick essential you know it's funny how coffee just comes into your life it's like so I was I'm 53 so I was about 52 when I started my first coffee and um, it's one of those things that just sneakily become more and more in your life like it's like a strange addiction isn't it? like uh digital technology finds its way in and stays in I would never have thought two years ago that I'd made a purposeful stop to get myself a coffee I think that's the next challenge for me for sure so I think I'm I'm there it's a bit of a journey but um, yeah this is like the tarmac lane that the council never re-tarmarked. <laughs> it's really a, a little bit of a test for my uh, for my girl here, but um, there's people around, so I guess I'm getting close. For sure. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm off road, but it's like a patchwork quilt of a road it's like the road that time forgot I'm hoping that um, my reliable sat-nav <laughs> is taking me to the right place otherwise it's going to be almost like a two mile reverse back in reverse gear yeah, because there's nowhere to do a U-turn here. 
each side of me is like streams and very dodgy edging <laughs> to the road but hey not quite the, not quite the you know the off-road experience in my little four by four bongo I suppose can do it because I'm sure she can do a little more I thought you know what I suppose when you when you burst in 1998 you don't exactly want to be rough and tumbling it anymore you know and uh, and she's looking for an easier life so I'm hoping that I don't want to test her too much she's a loyal little girl why do we say that why do we say I guess if it was a woman that was driving would she say a loyal man I mean, why do we call out cars often the opposite sex yes a loyal girl that one is crazy isn't it <laughs> anyway whoa whoa take it easy Paul man anyway I guess I'm not far off there although this part of the journey has probably taken me this road longer than the rest of the journey because it's uh be careful on my uh on my bongo on her the tires you know she could do with a new pair of boots i'm sure happy days i'm going so slow on this kind of tarmac off-road something that <laughs> my sat nav asked me do i want to switch to pedestrian mode that's how slow i've been going it's like bless eh bless This is like a family run, real off grid. Um, I suppose, like almost, yeah, hugely back to nature um, campsite. Well, it's not campsite, it's actually, they've got hard stands, um, shingle hard stands, but um, yeah, it's, it's just amazing how people that, um, you know, had farms, livestock, and I've just rethought on a helping helping you know real people get back to a real environment let me just turn the camera so I can show you some of this stuff I mean you know this it's just me look you know a little kind of unorganized but let me take you to where I'm going to be staying for the next couple of nights uh, yeah let's take a little drive and uh, Get ourselves up there. Just clear the screen so you can really see where we're off, you know. And, uh, such a basically beautiful, well organized place. Let's pick up where we left off. Looking at how you measure your investment um, into your self-control, into how you are running your business and all your business is running you. Let's be clear here. Burnout doesn't come because you work too hard. Burnout come because you don't work hard enough. Let me explain what I mean by that. You're actually not working on yourself to resist overworking. So you're taking away the human being part if you become more of a human doing part. And that's what creates burnout. And that comes from frantically chasing, you know, the technology part of our life. Chasing the speed of our technology work. We could never ever keep up in our minds with technology we can design technology to be that that processes far quicker than we can wisdomly think and it's, it's meant to be that way you know 
we don't have to be in our business in order for our business to be successful. To have trust in our business, we don't have to be in it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks of the year. I mean, think about this. You purchase a car. You don't move then into that car. You don't grab a sleeping bag and, you know, utensils and food and suddenly you, you live in that car seven days a week in order to trust that car is going to start when you get in in the morning. You don't sleep in that car overnight just to trust that that car is going to be sitting there the next morning when you need to get in and start it and get on your journey. So it's the same for business. You don't spend all your life in your business just to trust your business is going to be there for you, it's going to be successful for you. It doesn't work that way. You have to, you have to almost detach yourself from the business. Excuse the noise here because this is like a working farm. It's just amazing. There's all kinds of machinery going around here. It's just brilliant. So do you think about that? Let's think about, let's think about addiction. Digital addiction is such an invisible addiction. It's, it's hard to see because <laughs> not allowed to talk about it because if they do then you know what I mean? It could open up a whole can of worms. Just think about this. Class A drugs is addiction. Caffeine addiction. Cigarettes addiction. Do you not get up in the morning or do not the majority of the population get up in the morning the first thing they do is reach out for their mobile phone first thing they do is switch on their laptop first thing they do is get on the internet or get onto social media is that not an addiction how many of you right now could resist doing that first thing in the morning you know you grab your cup of coffee there's your first addiction open up your phone second addiction Going to social media, third addiction. And these are legal. So give that some thought. How addicted are you to technology? How addicted are you to the digital investment, the digital injection that you need each day? So let's take this full circle. Come back to what is your influenced and your purposeful time invested into you that we originally opened up with on this deep dive think tank. Now to do that you have to be committed to digital free time. Understand how addicted you are first. Are you an email addict? So when you do take the time out are you still just sneakily when anybody's not looking? When people are not there looking or or you you just jump a quick sneak of the phone, how your email's doing, anything you need to reply to, you think that's not an addiction? That's an emotional addiction. But also what you're doing is reaffirming a distrust to your business. A distrust the success of your business. So really think long and hard about what is, as I say, human being over human doing in your life. Yeah. So all you're going to do is I'm going to drop in a little PDF here. So jump on, download that PDF. A simple, a simple template that's going to, that's going to force the measure of what is digital free time in your life. Let's create a 30 cent deal. Let's say 30% of your business day, and that's quite a low percentage. 30% of your business day should be digital free where you are actually you've turned your back on all your devices and your computer and you actually sit in a place of quality thinking you know listen, our wisdom isn't designed to run as fast as digital technology we will miss so many thoughts technology is important wouldn't be able to do this if we want the technology but managing it Emotionally managing it is what's important to the success of your business. So let's be clear. Business is, is as successful as your emotional well-being. Let me say that again. As successful as your emotional well-being. Do not think 
that you can dismiss that about yourself. It is not possible. This year is the processor. This year is my memory bank. Your memory bank and your laptop has got firmware, has got software to protect it. You have to implement that software in your own mind to protect the quality of your thoughts, to keep the quality of your thoughts. So what does that firmware look like? What does that protective software look like? Well, is it this? Getting back to what we consider nothing, inconvenient. Put yourself in a place where you can say, okay, I'm switching off from the control of the business in my life for these three days, these 10 days, these 14 days, whatever you choose, these 24 hours. And by doing that, I am, I am being, I'm giving myself a promise that I will not, I will resist opening up my emails, flipping open my laptop, and I will maintain my self-promise. I will maintain the integrity to myself. I will maintain the authenticity of knowing I put in my schedule human being time over human doing. Happy days. See you as a thing. If you like what you hear, if this resonates with you, because it'll not with everybody, you have to be ready for this. You have to be ready for a lifestyle business. If this resonates with you, subscribe below. And every week there's going to be a new email. There'll be a new email. Also, big shout out to Rush Cycles there. Um, thank you for sponsoring sponsoring my, my channel and um, you know being there, helping me support uh, my biking and things because that's a big part of my life. So big thank you to Rush Cycles. Look out for those guys who just put me in Google, you'll find them. But in the meantime, download that PDF and uh, start measuring your 30 cent split and digital free. <laughs> your, laptop's, your laptop likes to be reboot, likes to be reset exactly like yourself. We're not digital people, we are human beings.